what is up everybody welcome back to the channel we got a little change of scenery here we are officially at the junkyard we're looking for front disc brake conversion because we got some big plans for braking and we happen to find our donor look at this thing the local pickle part look it's already done for us <laughs> Halfway there. Upon further inspection, it looks like these lower ball joints have seen some better days, so might need to refresh that. But aside from that, the car doesn't have a frontal impact. It's mostly in the rear. It's a 2001. But dang, what happened? Well, don't have much time, so I'm gonna get to it and probably take a little bit of these uh, bits and pieces that I need off of the rear disc brakes as well. But thank goodness this was here. Perfect. Just like that, got the hubs. Package secured. Yeah. Yeah, so all in all, not a bad bad days of work. Uh, I got the knuckle for thirty six bucks each, sixty dollars plus a little light that I bought. You really can't go wrong. Pick apart, the way to go, baby. Let's go. So there's the difference between the uh, Mini Cooper rotor and the stock, uh, I want to say that's like an eight, eight and a half. It's a 10.75 or 10 and three quarters. It's a pretty big difference, I would say. Let's see, let's do it. Back to back, actually. Let's do this. I can see the difference. Pretty big. And the kit also comes with uh, this hardware. So this is gonna be to hold the pads in place. And then I believe this is like some sort of dust shield in case you wanna run that. You would basically use these um, to run through it and it holds it in place, but I'm not gonna run those. Look at the size difference of these two. So this is the uh, twin block caliper compared to the stock CX. 
pads. Um, yeah, the only thing that you have to do actually is remove this uh, bracket here off of the new pad because it won't fit. But the size difference is quite significant. As you can see. ITR master cylinder to replace that puny little stock CX master cylinder and it's even OEM So here's a better look at the trailing arm bushing tool. Here's a little stopper. Stops you from pushing it in too far. And it just takes a little bit of time to kind of set the tool up. But once you set it up, it makes your life so much easier. And just basically get a ratchet, torque this down, watch this little stopper. And that's basically it. You're good to go. You get the idea. Fresh trailing arm. Let's finish the rest off.
All right, next up we have a ASR rear subframe brace. Um, I love the way they look and also it's functional so that you don't tear out your subframe. The factory subframe is not reinforced like the 2000, 99-2000 SI. So this will also help me to run a larger sway bar in the rear, which the CX didn't come with. And I also went ahead and did the ASR LCAs and their 24 millimeter rear sway bar. So I am super excited for all this. I have an alignment scheduled with the Honda God himself, Robert at Cheworks. So let's get to this and get that alignment tomorrow. There we are, all done. All right, y'all, we made it out to Adams Motorsports Park. It is a small go-kart track, and we are finally gonna shake down the EK for the second time. This time, with a way better setup. Still got the stock seat, which is kind of like a John Deere seat. So I hope uh, I'll be able to handle the ride. But, but yeah, let's go check out the track. Um, got here a little early just to chill out, relax. GoPro's at 50%. I don't know why it keeps turning on, but yeah, let's see what's going on over here. Here we are, back from the track. I totally forgot to hit record and you know, I didn't get my PB lap, but it's all right. <clears throat> so I just wanted to give a quick breakdown on what I did these whole weeks of waiting for parts, uh, pressing it and out bushings on my own. Uh, I learned a lot in the whole process. 
but I am super happy how everything turned out. Um, starting from the back, I did do clear tail lights, uh, just a cool little quick mod and changes up the look. And then moving on to the rear brake, I switched out from drum brakes to disc, added my Falcon tires, RT660s, and um, everything is fresh and new, new trailing arm bushing. I then also did um, ASR rear sway bar, lower control arm, subframe brace, ASR spherical end links, it's got it all. Um, and then on top of that, I had to do something to the interior. So I went ahead and did the Momo steering wheel with the EX cluster and the ASR dog bone, which just makes a better seating position, honestly. Um, shifter moves closer to me. I don't have to really reach far. And then Moving on to the front, we got the brake setup, which is the nice piece, I'd say, of the car. It's a Mini Cooper front rotor, Mini Cooper non-S rotor, and a twin block four pot caliper, which takes an ITR pad, which is significantly bigger, as you can saw in the photo, and Kose K1s for wheels. Um, but yeah, that basically sums it up. Um, I do have a track day in collaboration with Extreme Speed and SFAM. So if you want to come out on November 19th and put down the fastest lap time in a Honda, um, you're more than welcome to join. I'll put all the description down, everything, all the info in the description down below. Just check it out. And it's a hundred bucks for a track day. It's beginner friendly. So if you're interested in coming, you can DM me, you can find me on social media, and yeah, that's basically it. Peace! Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button. And also stay tuned for episode number five. Well, I'll do a full track video. I messed up, this is my bad, but we're gonna go to a real Streets of Willow counterclockwise track with this car. Let's shake it down, let's see what I can do. Peace.